viewers to the 12th episode in this series of episode where we're looking at the 2023 20, internal mathematics paper 1. So if you haven't seen the other episode please check on the description section and download our companion app. You'll be able to find the videos in that app or you can also alternatively check on our YouTube channel. The beauty with your app you'll be able to find past papers there, you'll find quizzes that you can test yourself. So do not miss out on this chance. So question 12 m from 12 it leads so question 12 leads the functions g and h are defined by g of x is equal to 3x plus 1 and h of x is equal to x minus 1 over 2 find g of x inverse so when you see g of negative 1 of x it means we're finding the inverse so let us start with this question. So this one is again a common question that comes every year. So the principle is get this g of x, whatever the g of x, g of x, let it be equal to y. So that you're going to have y is equal to 3x plus 1. Then make y the subject of the formula. For the steps that I'm doing. So to make y the subject of the formula, what we do is we say y minus 1, the moment this one crosses the equal sign takes up a negative value, so it becomes a negative, so we have equals 3x. Then we divide by 3, we divide by 3, so this gives me the x is equal to y minus 1 over 3. Remember, I'm just swapping this because this one and this one cancel, so this is the same as y minus 1 over 3 is equal to x, which is the same as x is equal to y minus 1 over 3. Then after this point, then now substitute whatever there is y, you replace it with x. Then the function becomes now g inverse of x is equal to minus 1 over 3. If you do this, you would have answered that question and got any this free one mark so this question always comes please follow the principle that's why mathematics is very predictable then question e, beam i'll use this space for beam again let me demarcate so that it's easier for you to see so for b we are asked to find g of h of x so what this tells me is get the function g whatever there is x replace with h of x so we have g of x which is equal to 3x plus 1 so in the function of g of x when you're finding g h of x so in that function whatever there is x we put the value of h of x which is this one so it will be x minus 1 over 2 then plus 1. If you notice, this part is replacing x. That's what is happening. So this part is being replaced by this. Then at that point, it's just a matter of simplifying. So we have g h of x is equal to 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 1 is minus 3 over then plus one something like this then after this we look for the common denominator so let me just create the new space so that we are able to simplify this one properly so we are talking about g of h of x which is equal to 3x minus 3 over 3 plus 1 over 1 if you notice here, this is the case. So this is just 1 over 1. Then we look for the common denominator, which is, when copying I made an error, this is a 2. So it will be a 2. So 2 into 2 is a 1, 1 times, so it will be 1 multiplied by 3x minus 3. Then to be 1 into 2 is plus 2, so it will be 2 times 1. Then this simplifies to 3x minus 3 then plus 2 over 2 then this gives me 3x minus 1 over 2 so this is g h of x 
Once we do that, then we can proceed to question C. Find the value of x if g of g x is equal to 22. g of g x is equal to 22. We know g. So this one tells me that in the g itself, whenever there is x, replace again g. So seeing, we are looking for g of g x. We need to find this function. So we know that g of x is equal to 3x plus 1. Then now, in this function, whenever there is x, to find g of g of x, we say 3 multiplied by g of x plus 1. Then what is g of x? You see, that one again. So it will be 3 multiplied by 3x plus 1 plus 1. Then this becomes 9x plus 1. 3, because 3 times 3 is 9, then this 9x, then 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1. So this tells me 9x plus 4. Now this expression must be equated to 22 for us to solve for x, because we are told that this expression itself must equal to 22. So we need to find now the value of x. So on a new page, because g of gx is equal to 22, it means 9x plus 4 must is equal to 22. Must is equal to 22. Then 9x is equal to 22 minus 4. So 9x is equal to 18. We divide by 9, we divide by 9. So x is equal to 2. So once you do that, you are good to go. You get these good marks. So if you follow the principle, you notice that mathematics is it's easier to tell whether what you are doing is okay or not. You will be able to see how the functions comes out so nicely such that you will not even be doubting your answers. You should be able to answer these questions confidently the more you revise. So what is important is revise. Revision makes it permanent.